There will be 19 horses that will be launching from the starting gate later tonight. That's right. And it actually takes a lot of work getting those horses into the starting gates quickly and safely. Very important there. And actually, our very own Claire Kopsky has a behind-the-scenes look at what it takes to get all of that done and the men who are in charge of doing it and who actually gives the green light to go. Claire Kopsky, good morning. You are looking pretty in pink for us oh, on this derby day. Claire, you and Chris as well. Good morning to you all. It is no small feat to move 20 horses in the same direction at the same time. And Churchill starter Scott Jordan has been doing this since 2006. And he says the one thing that he looks for and listens for before every single race is silence. No noise is a good thing. Noise, you know something's not. Not good and not ready to run. We don't know if that horse had a bad day at the barn before he got to us or if he, you know, something. It's just doesn't feel good that day or whatever. It's, but we still got to deal with them. Deal with them and sometimes take a beating. They're in there 10 races a day. The Derby day, you're looking at 14 races. You're in there with a horse every race in this steel trap and you're getting beat up. Oh yeah, you may not really get hurt, but there's bruises and bumps and everything else. The starting gate is not a comfortable or natural place for a horse either. They're trapped in a hole with steel wrapped all around them. So it's, you know, so if you make that first time over here a good experience, usually it goes smooth from then on out. The training at the starting gate starts months in advance. What are you gonna do, Ashley? She's gonna attempt to gallop out. Each horse has to be cleared by Scott or a starter at another track. On race day, Scott says his team members are his eyes and ears behind the gate. We've got two minutes to load 20. So it's a fast procedure, but it's we try to keep it safe on everybody. I mean, that's our main objective is keep the horse safe, keep the rider safe, keep all the guys safe and get a clean start. And then it's up to them after that. One, two, three up to them as they take off for the race of their lives. Now Scott says as soon as those tailgates close, he can start the race immediately. I asked him how different it is to do this on Derby Day versus any other race day. He says he tells his team it's just like any other day, but he says the sheer number of people, noise, and the number of horses makes this unlike any other race during the season. All right, Claire, thank you so much.